I want people to call and describe Las Vegas. How would you describe it just socially, living here? What, what would you say to somebody who's like, what's it like living in Vegas? What's Vegas all about? The reason I bring this up is there's a guy who just came out with a book. It's called Insert Coins. Yeah. And <laughs> this is a very negative book on Las Vegas. He is a Swiss photographer. The background is that he came to visit Vegas in the winter of 2011. Uh, it had become, at that point, the unemployment capital of the country. It was right after the recession, obviously. Uh, he came and he said he couldn't believe what he saw. So he returned every year after mm-hmm. to take pictures. And I'm obviously this uh, this book is trending right now. So we're going through the book. We're going through the uh, pictures. But this entire book is pictures of homeless people begging on the streets Couples who are sleeping outside of bars. There's one. This is terrible. A sad kid. He's got like a teddy bear in his arm. Yep. Um, there is a... Uh, There's a, a couple dressed in duck costumes lying on the ground with beer bottles in their hands. Yeah, they look like they've passed out. And they have Donald Duck costumes on. Uh, there's a homeless guy who's holding a sign that's being held up by a wine glass. It says determination on it. There's a, a girl, this is um, down on Fremont. The caption is, the legs of a scantily clad woman, a woman are seen standing on a bar. An example of the kind of employment opportunities in Las Vegas. You know how much, how much money some of these women make? I mean, is this guy aware of that? <laughs> They're not doing too They're bad. They're doing pretty good, yeah. actually. Yeah. This is a really uh, anti-Vegas book. I'm not saying that, um, I mean, the pictures are, are very interesting. I'll give them that. They're very interesting pictures. Um, and he took, you know, years to get these pictures. But the captions on these pictures are so negative. I mean, it just makes Vegas look like an absolute hellhole. Yeah, and I think his point, uh, at one point in the story, is like if you uh, peel the strip and the glitz and glam of the strip back, uh, yeah, that is exactly what it is. It, it's some uh, real issues. Yeah, beyond the um, beyond the strip, that uh, it's not what it seems. His uh, kind of sub title uh, is an attempt to convince patrons that they can find a shortcut to the American dream. But the book is called Insert Coins, uh, and it's a picture book. Let's get to Stephanie. What's up, Stephanie? Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm not too bad. Um, I'd say it's an eclectic. I love it. <laughs> I used to uh, dread coming here when I was a little kid, but it's changed a lot. So it's yeah, an eclectic. It's a bunch of different things. It can go from good to bad in a split second. But the strip, yeah, like you said, it's just a small part of Vegas. I don't know. Isn't, isn't, every, isn't every city like that? You take a block, you go down one block, and right. you take a right, and then all of a sudden you're just – it's like you're in a different city. Yeah. You'd be surprised, like Vermont and those little guys up there. It's not. <clears throat> oh, you mean the, you mean the state here. of Vermont? Yeah. Oh. Did you say those little guys up there? Like there are a bunch of yeah. wee little people that live in Vermont. <laughs> you mean those gnomes guys, up in Vermont? Guys. <laughs> no, it's just so small. <laughs> yeah. What, what What did you move here to do? I didn't move here. I'm passing through. Oh, so you're not you're not living here right now? Mm-mm. But I've been here for like a month. So. Gotcha. All right. Well, thank you, Stephanie. Appreciate that. Yes, have a good day. You too. Um, so, yeah, I mean, so this book is out. It's called Insert Coins. Uh, and I was just curious to get people's, you know, people who, who have lived here for a while or, or, you know, maybe you're here but you visit regularly. Um, thoughts on how you would describe Vegas because he describes it as a shortcut to the American dream that usually ends in sadness. And like I said, putting a book out with, like, these kids. This kid's obviously a homeless kid. He's with his parents holding a teddy bear. And then this woman... You know, she's wearing boy boy shorts and boots. She's a bartender. I mean, you know, it's it's, it's right. like he's getting. I think it's just like a little dramatic. I mean, yeah, the, the girl's just... a bartender, and he's like, "Look at this poor woman. This is her only employment opportunity." I'm like, "Yeah, except she's leaving with a thousand to two thousand dollars every night." Yeah, so you know? I guess what we're looking for is this a fair portrayal of the city? Yeah, would you describe it as the way that this guy has? In his book, Insert Coins, uh, he's got a lot of pictures of people gambling, tourists. Uh, Evan, welcome to the show. Evan. Oh, yes. Hi. Hey, Sorry. Hey, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing pretty good. Good. What's up? You know, um, the guy was talking about a lot of, you were describing a lot of homeless people around, but 
You know, I've been to places like San Francisco, and I've lived here my whole life. So, I mean, I, I definitely see homeless people, you know, running around all the time. But I feel like if you're going to go to any major city in the country, you're going to get a lot of homeless people, especially, like you were saying, in that one area or one block. And I, I don't know. That's kind of unfair to me how they would, you know, write that whole book and try to slam Vegas when it's just, you know, if you're going to be that, – that's your argument. That's not really – a valid argument, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I mean, it's not like he, um, you know, he didn't take a ride uh, up Summerlin Parkway and go to the golf course and exactly. take pictures. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Uh, uh, I think I think what he's doing with these pictures, he's trying to use the images to be impactful to prove his point. Yeah, and that that's... the overall city is more of a uh, less than happy place. Well, it's you know the way he described it is it's kind of a launching. Well, he didn't describe it as what happened, but it's kind of a launching pad for um, a letdown. You know, a shortcut to the American dream. It's like come here, the glitz, the glamour, the lights, and then look at look look at what happens. And it's like, I don't know. You don't often see kids with a teddy bear covered in dirt sitting on the side of the road. It's just, right. it's a rarity. It's not what it is about. You know. And, we'll, and there's there's that picture on Facebook that I always see where it's like what everybody thinks Vegas is like, and then it's what Vegas is actually like, and it's just a bunch of houses and suburbs and stuff. So it's yeah. like I think everybody goes to Vegas to see this big crazy looking contraption and it's kind of just like it's all right you know it's cool it's it's not a big deal dude i've seen those pictures too some of them are great there's one and it's like this is what people think vegas is and it's it's a strip and it's cars and it's everybody partying and then it's like what it's really like and it's people sitting in traffic (laughs) 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 like like on a highway going home Uh, it's like yeah (laughs) and it's funny i there is it's so unique there's may not be another city that's judged on a mile and a half of real estate right. as the entire perception. Right. It really is incredible when you think about it. Literally a mile and a half, two miles, and that perception is is just takes it engulfs the entire city. Almost the entire state, really, if yeah. you think about it, because as soon as people cross over to the Nevada border, they're like, here right. we go, roller coasters and gambling. Because at the end of the day, who really talks about Reno? I mean, it's just, you know what I mean? You just don't know. It's the biggest little city in the world, Marco. <laughs> uh, Cindy. Hi, good morning. Cindy, welcome to the show. How are you? Good. How are you guys? Good. What do you got? I'm a little offended from the borderline disinformation of character on our, on our city. You, you you broke up a little in the beginning. You said you were offended? I'm a little offended. It's a little bit disinformation of character on our city. It's what people have to keep in mind is there's a lot of people here that are not native. I'm a native, born and bred here for 35 years. And our city has grown a whole lot. Uh, we didn't have people in costume with past, I want to say, 10 years. That was a California thing that was their thing to have people in costumes. We didn't have none of that stuff. It just started recently, and it's just very, it's very upsetting. It's very sad to see that they, that you mainly focus on the negative. Yeah, I, yeah. Your, your phone is, City, your phone's cutting out. Uh, well, she we'd love that, to keep you on, but but it's, your phone's breaking up. Yeah, and, that, and that's what I'd heard, too, with the, the costume people. They're like, that's a relatively new thing, of course, in front of, uh, what is it, Man, the Chinese Theater on Hollywood Boulevard. Mm-hmm. You see them all over, and that kind of carried over once there was a more family-friendly atmosphere uh, to the strip. Costumes are cool, but I, I mean, will say I've seen them go off on some tourists. Like, the tourists literally start running away. Yeah. I mean, it's, like, a little aggressive. Little aggressive. I will say this. I mean, I I, I think it's a great town, and uh, I think this is probably uh, skewing towards more of the negative side. I don't know if that's fair, but I I also will say, out of any city I've lived in, uh, with locals, anyways, I've never experienced such a fifty fifty dichotomy between people who are like, "This is the greatest place you'll ever live," to other people who will say, "Why'd you move here?" Yeah, and and you mean among locals, among locals, yeah, and yeah. Pe- people. And I don't mean people that have moved here the last three years, but people that are from here. I agree. I've seen the same way. Either people are like, "You're so lucky to be here," or the other fifty percent of people are like, "Why would you come here?" A lot of them say, the other fifty percent say, "I'm trying hard to leave." Right. You know, and, and it is. It is bizarre, but I will tell you, the NFL coming here would be great. And by the way, the NFL doesn't go to cities who are recessed or recessing or depressed. They won't do it to the, to their franchises. They no. just won't allow it. And um, so that said that the NFL is seriously considering, you know, the Raiders to Vegas. Um, this book, I think, is probably very un- inaccurate as it portrays the entire city. Though it is trending, 
it has, uh, you know, it has gotten a lot of people's attention. Yeah, I think what's unfair is that there are opportunities, especially at you know, midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning on the Strip, to go and take a bunch of pictures and spin it. Right. You know, and that's what he took advantage of. It's Marco and Jeets X, 107.5.